This educational video is for new great ear slider owners in Singapore who want to know how to fit their new great ear slider. Now we have a case here. This one is a great ear slider and uh, it's been hospitalized. And uh, you can see, take it out, you can see that uh, it's definitely not a hatchling. A hatchling is much shorter and smaller, so you measure the, the, the length of the shell. How, how much is it? 5.5. 5.5, okay. Hatchling is normally about uh, 2 at 2.5. So this is a bit grown up. So the feeding will be different. We'll just put it back first. Now, I showed a range of, of uh, food available, pellets, commercial pellets available in Singapore. There, there may be more than this. Now the, the first one, the left one put here, you can see is, just read it now. Read. Aquatic turtle food with okay. hatchling formula. Ah, with hatchling formula. So this one is for hatchling. And this is from USA, you can see it is about uh, recommended for less than 5 cm of shell length. Now, sometimes it's very difficult to find it in Singapore pet shops. Okay, so how it looks like, you see, you see inside is all one color brown. Huh? You can see the bag is open up the whole thing and let me video from the inside. Pointing at me, I mean. Pointing at me uh, with the lights against the light, no, the shine of the lights. No, the light in, there's no light. Okay, so this, this one is all brown, as you can see. There's no uh, multicolored ones, okay. This is one, okay, number two. Another one for hatchling, sold by the pet shop, but there's no label here, as you can see. And we see the inside. Now the inside will be, uh, this one you can see the light. It's multicolored, the green and the reddish. See the other one? The other one, hatching formula. The one is brownish, you can compare. So one we know, and uh, it's branded. I mean, there is, there is the, the label there. This one, we don't know what it is. It's sold by the pet shop. Okay, then number three now. Now, since this one is more than five centimeter in the shell length, we will have to fit the bigger pellets so the bigger pellet, this one, you can see, is quite unique in the sense that it's not the long pellets, it's globular. This is called Mazuri. Mazuri. Okay, it's from Japan. I don't have the... It's so in bags. And this one is supposed to be a high quality uh, uh, fit for, for the red ear slider and it's not cheap. Definitely more expensive than the other two. The next two which I will show you. Okay, this is one from Taiwan. It's called Everyday. Everyday what? New tree. New tree pellets. Okay, see that they are bigger, a bit longer, yeah. A bit narrower pellets. Okay. Then another one which is quite popular. Neutrophin is from Germany. It's from Germany. And you can see that uh, see the pellets. A bit longer as well. So these are the five, five uh, types of commercial pellets for the for the radius sliders commonly sold in Singapore. But not every pet shop has the range, and sometimes the pet shop runs out, and then you find that the terrapin doesn't want to eat anymore. Now what I am showing you, just throw the pellet in and see the mazuri. We see this, this, this slider has been. Normally, you count the number of pellets. Don't throw so so many. Yeah, uh, one or two first. Now, see whether it is or not. Just put put the slider nearer to the pellets. Normally, they can smell it, but uh, now they 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 fit. They fit in water, so there's no point you giving them uh, on, on dry land. Okay, let's see whether they uh, hold it and see whether they, they have to swim a bit, otherwise some of them don't eat it. Yeah. But uh, seems like he has eaten 
it, it doesn't uh, eat anymore. So the, the, the theory is you feed the, the amount based on the volume of the head. So if you see the head is like this uh, example, then it's probably three. Three of the Mazuri palace will do because this is a rough guide based on the volume of the head. Uh. So if you put five, that means you are just wasting pellets. And uh, some authors suggest alternate day feeding. Some suggest uh, feeding with a uh, variety with uh, veggies and prawn meat or fish meat as well. So that it doesn't stick to one, but uh, a good quality commercial pellet seems to be quite uh, quite if quite uh, useful and uh, provide the necessary nutrients to the red ear slider. Okay, now we look at the stream. Some owners throw in the stream. You just see the, the label with. Uh, so this one, some owners they thought that they thought that the the theremin should be fed to streams hundred percent, but it's not nutritious and uh, should not be done. This is more like dessert. Okay, so this closes the case on the video on nutrition. Of course, add veggies. Now, the, the thing is some owners, they tend to buy various things to add into the water from the pet shop. And uh, this is one of them, multivitamins. So then add the chlorinators and uh, so and then they put on the light, ultraviolet light B, for eight to ten hours. So make sure that the terrapin has space to to dry up, basking we call it, no? and uh, probably in the water not too, not too long, not twenty four hours. Otherwise, you get shell rot. Oh, you get shell rot, and uh, in this case, this one was having shell rot earlier and uh, has almost fully recovered. So the other aspect, water hygiene, sunning, and uh, warm has to be considered in keeping a red ear slider to the ripe old age of normally 30 years of age. This one is probably three months. Don't buy your vets in Singapore.